Hello and welcome to Dracon video series. Today we are going to take a look on the Azure cutters. Uh, let's see, for instance, in this case, we have this hoop earring and uh, uh, the idea is to apply the Azure cutters here on the back part of the gems. So we will see uh, uh, some possibilities. Uh, you can find the Azure cutter under the cutters tab. So the first thing we need to select the gems. In this case, the reference gems will be the ones we have used for the pave. And the, the second reference, we will need to define an object. In this case, it's a, a surface or a poly surface. We need to select, in this case, is this uh, surface. So we just press enter and you will see it will start computing here the progress bar computing all the Azure cutters. So let's see how it will work. It will uh, adjust to, uh, to the entire surface as you will see. So it will be uh, computed uh, with the options we define here, with a, the with a margin, with the, the wall thickness. But actually, um, there, are, there will be some cases that instead of using the, the entire surface, uh, maybe we don't want to use uh, all, the, all the surface. So uh, let's see some examples how to, how to um, work a little bit these Azure cutters as uh, needed. So if it was this, uh, we just move on uh, by accepting this tool and uh, making the Boolean operation. But uh, for instance, if uh, we want to apply to um, just a part of this, of this uh, surface, not the entire surface, uh, let's imagine that uh, we could use, for instance, uh, this curve that we have used here to create this push-pull, the area to, to place the gems. Uh, let's say that uh, uh, we want to use this curve. So uh, one possibility would be to define uh, here under the um, curves where we will find this option to pull the curve to a surface. So let's select this back surface. And uh, once we have the curve, pull it into this surface. Now uh, would be a possibility to uh, to create the Azuri just on this surface. Remember, it will ask you for a reference surface apart from the gems. So what uh, we could do in this case, uh, maybe a good approach would be to uh, extract surface here under solids and uh, make sure the copy is yes, just because we want to keep the, the earring as a solid object. So I just want to extract this back surface so I just follow the command line. I just press enter. And now I have uh, this duplicated surface. So apart from this, the, the solid, the poly surface, I have this duplicate surface. And uh, once we have this curve, uh, what I'm going to do is to uh, trim. So let's just uh, use the, the cutting object. We will use this curve and the, the the object to cut, just make sure you select the surface, not the poly surface. So we select the surface and uh, now uh, press enter to finish. So we will see that we have this surface. Maybe we can go here to a, to a different layer uh, just to make sure we have the, the visibility as we want. So uh, in this case, they are coplanar, so that's why we don't see it clearly, but here is the entire surface. And uh, now what we will use instead of the entire back surface, we can use the, the surface we have just created. So let's repeat again. So uh, let's go to cutters, Azure cutters. We select the gems and then the object, let's select here, let's make sure we select the surface we want. So in this case, this one, enter. And now, uh, once again, it will start computing all the Azure cutters. Let's see the results. Uh, 
as you can see now it was applied only to the surface we have defined it so it's very important as you can see to define the the surface where we apply the the azure cutters uh, because it will define the shape uh, of this azure uh, one other thing that i wanted to mention is that we can adjust here the the both the margin as well as the cell wall, which means that uh, it will affect as well as the, um, in this case, it will affect the, the thickness of the, of the, these walls between all the different cutters. And uh, once it's done, we can uh, use, uh, let me maybe select my surface as well as the curve so i just uh, use the central mouse button to use the hide tool as well as the surface i can hide these ones i don't need them uh, and uh, also uh, remember that uh, the azure is only working on the on the back maybe uh, we can do in the same operation the, the same boolean operation also the 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 normal cutters, remember, we still need to define the stone seat. So we just want to create the gem cutter. So in here for the gem cutter, um, I'm going just to make sure I will adjust in here. The, I want to have this connection with the Azuri as well as the, let me rotate properly so we can see what we are doing. And the, the idea in here is to make sure we will be able to uh, remove all these cutters from this uh, hoop earring to create the Azure. So let's uh, click OK. And now uh, we will uh, be ready to make the, the Boolean operation to uh, to uh, remove these all these cutters from the earring. What we will do, um, uh, we have seen several times the the boolean, and also uh, I think it will be good to mention that uh, in in Rhino 8 the the booleans uh, also support history. So uh, one thing it's important to make sure in case you want to come back and edit uh, the the object. Just remember to uh, delete input objects to define uh, not to delete them. It will allow us to keep them in document. So in case we want to to readjust in further steps, it's always uh, useful. So uh, first thing, objects uh, to subtract from. So we will select the hoop earring. And uh, finally, the objects uh, to subtract with. Uh, I'm just following the command line. And uh, once again, delete input no. So what we will do is we are going to select both the gem cutter and make sure we can zoom in, not the not the pave prongs. We want to select the Azure cutters. So once we have the object selected, we can press enter to compute our Boolean difference. So remember, we have selected delete input objects no, which means it will be on the document. So we have here the, the gem cutter, the still the Azure cutter, just because we didn't delete them. And we can uh, just hide them both here on the comment history. And the same for the the both the poly surface and the hoop earring. And I'm going to use the central mouth button just to hide it. And uh, as you can see now, we will have the uh, Azure cutters exactly as we have defined. Uh, if I hide my gems, let's go here to the gems layer and we can uh, hide the gems just to see what we have created, we have the stone seat as well as the Azure cutter on the back. So this is the idea for the Azure cutters. Uh, just wanted to explain the workflow, how we can create them. 
but uh, I also want to mention uh, other cases, um, other cases, for instance, where we won't have the 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 back surface uh, uh, already available in our model, depending, of course, on the way we are building the the model. So let me create here a, a quick example what I'm referring to. Maybe we can use it. It could be a ring. It could be any other any other model. But let's create here a, maybe some something along a curve just to be easier to to understand. I'm just going to find here a, a curve, and uh, from this curve, what I'm going to do is to I'm going to use the metal on curve to create. A, uh, metal uh, along this curve uh, and uh, I just need to select the curve and uh, in this case maybe we can adjust here the orientation so uh, let's use uh, 180 degrees uh, and maybe we can reduce here the cap so what I'm going to do is just to uh, to apply some gems along this along this uh, object, so we can use the gems on curve. Uh, in this case, uh, you will see that it will already uh, bring the 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 ISO curve with the with the object, so it it will know exactly the ISO curve. But of course, if needed, we can add our uh, our own custom uh, curve. So I'm going to reduce a little bit here the the gems position and actually instead of round gems let's it can it can be applied to any any gems actually it's not um, not relevant so maybe let's let's use a, a princess cut let's maybe adjust here the the space between gems or or even the the gem size we can also adjust here a little bit and uh, let's make also the um, we can adjust here the start and end points let's make it something like this and i'm going also to create the um, the settings uh, instead in, in this case instead of a, of a prong prong setting we can define a, let's use a bar setting uh, and also, uh, we can of course adjust here uh, the, the thickness and the, the um, both thickness and the, uh, the width. In this case, the horizontal adjustment. And finally, uh, we can create the. Let's use here the channel cutter. Uh, so let's create the channel cutter along this along this gem. So let's use. Maybe let's get the height from the gems, the lateral distance, as well as the cap. Let's make sure it's as needed. And let's create the Boolean operation to remove it from the, in this case, from the metal on curve. So as you can see, now we have created the, the object. And what I wanted to show you is a case like this, uh, it won't be so clear uh, the back surface, right? So you will see that uh, 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 in the earrings uh, we have clearly a back surface uh, we can we could we could use for the azure cutters. But we are, when we are creating, for instance, with a with a closed profile, uh, it will it will create a single surface. So it's not clear the 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 back surface. So in these cases, maybe uh, we could work, um, let's use for this specific case, um, I'm going to, uh, actually it's under surface, and uh, let's use the, this option, extrude curve ribbon, and uh, we can select the, the curve, and also uh, I'm going to define here in the command line both sides. So as you can see, now I'm creating a surface. And this is the surface I want to use as reference. 
So in this surface, which uh, we can see it will be used to create the Azure cutters, we, uh, we can use it as reference and not the, the surface from the object, which in this specific case was not easy to get. So creating a new one, uh, it's easier to create the cutters, Azure, and uh, we just need always to select the reference gems as well as the surface. In this case, it's both sides, so it's two surfaces. So I just need to make sure I select both. And once again, uh, just press Enter, and I'm going to define here the all the options, the the margin, the the, the distance between between the cutter. So it's much easier to define how we want this Azure. So as you can see, uh, it's a different, a different uh, result because uh, it was gems along curves. So in these cases, we will see that the Azure will be like this. Um, let's just hide this again. And uh, finally, we can apply the um, we can apply the Boolean difference. So let's use now the Boolean difference from from the um, uh, which object I want to select. In this case, the object, the first object, will be the Boolean, the original that we already removed the the channel cutter, and the objects to remove. Let's select the Azure cutters. So here we go. As you can see, um, it's a different, a different approach, but uh, also possible to apply on any given gems. It's just, just a couple of examples so we can see how it works. Let me hide the, the original curve. I just press the central mouse button to, to get this menu. So I can hide this curve, and as you can see, now we have the Azure, in this case, applied like this. In the other case, we have it applied like this. Actually, it can be any gems position. The main, uh, the main thing is just this, this I wanted to show you is to work on this, how we want this back surface, because this back surface will be the one that will define how the Azure cutters will be. OK. So this is it for today. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, leave your comments and suggestions in the comments below. Thank you.